My, my granddaughter, Premier Gal, you may know her, has informed me that you guys would like to learn the typewriter effect. So naturally, she hired me to do this tutorial for you. As you see, I have the typewriter here and I'm going to show you how to make the typewriter effect inside of Premiere Pro. So, let's get started. All right, you guys, so my grandmother actually had to take a nap, so I'm taking over from here. I'm inside of After Effects CC 2017, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a typewriter effect in After Effects and export it as a motion graphics template, so that way you can reuse it over and over again in Premiere Pro without having to go back to After Effects to create this. So, the first step is to go up to the type tool here and just go ahead and type out, I'm just going to type out typewriter effect. And I'm using the American typewriter font, but you can also use another font like Courier. So I'm just going to center this back up here, like so. And then the next step is to apply the typewriter animation effect. It's under effects and presets. You're just going to type in type writer or just type, drag and drop it on the text layer here down in your composition. And now you will see when we play it back that you get the typewriter effect. So if we expand the composition here and we press this arrow down under text, you will see that there's an animator one and underneath that expand the range selector and you can see that this is where the animation starts and the typewriter animation ends. And these are two keyframes. So if you wanna drag the keyframe out, it'll actually make the animation longer to take longer to finish. If you want it to be quicker, you can bring it back in. Like so you can see it's a lot faster now. We probably want it to be around the original animation. So let's just drag it back out like that. And that looks pretty great. So we have the typewriter effect. You know, we could export this with an alpha channel, so that way, you know, we could use it inside of Premiere Pro. However, we want to be able to edit this inside of Premiere Pro, right? We want to be able to change the text. So we're going to be using the Essential Graphics panel, which is new. I've done a lot of tutorials on this so far on my channel. So what you need to do is actually select the composition you want to turn into a template, which is composition one. And we can give it a name, we can just call it typewriter. And then what we need to do is actually take the source text from this text layer here and drag it into the essential graphics panel. So you're gonna drag this source text and here we can just write edit text. This is what, I'm basically telling you what you can do with it inside of Premiere Pro. And then the next step is we want it to be able to uh, maybe you know, reduce the, the size of this font. So we actually have to use something called scale under distort tool. So we actually have to find transform under effects and presets, drag and drop that on the text layer. And then under effects, under transform, you're gonna drag and drop scale. And this, we can change this to be a text size. And let's say you wanted to change the position. We actually can't use the standard position yet because it's not yet supported. So we need to use something else called separate XYZ position. Drag and drop that on the text layer. Let's drop it there. And then we need to drag and drop the X and the Y position. And basically this essential graphics panel is mimicking what you'll be able to do in Premiere Pro. So if I was gonna move this over, you'll see that it's moved over. If, if I was gonna move this down, it'll move down. Let's just Control Z that. So we have that. What else would we maybe want to manipulate? We'd probably wanna manipulate the color. So 
um, we need to add a fill. If you go to effects and presets again and go to fill, let's under generate, drag and drop fill. And of course it changes it to red. Let's just bring it back to black here. And then, and then go down to effects and drag and drop the fill color into the central graphics panel. And now if I was going to click on that and change it to let's say green for some reason, it'll change. All we have to do now is export motion graphics template and you're gonna hit save, yes. And here, we just want the destination to be essential graphics and we're gonna hit okay. So now, if I go back into Premiere Pro, you will see that if we scroll down, we now have typewriter. So now let's say if I open up the sequence here, let's say of my grandmother here, I drag and drop it, it'll just take a second to load. All right, so now that it's done loading, you can see here that here's where we can edit the effect and because it's a black background, we can maybe change it to white. Let's do that. And then let's say we want to move it over just a tad to the right. And now let's just call, let's just retype this as grandmother. The animation is pulled over automatically. You don't have to worry about going back into After Effects, right? So if I just render this out now, hit the in and out points and hit enter. Now you can see that it is completely updated. All we had to do was just type in the new text, resize it a little bit, play around the X and Y position, and you can change the color. So, and it's as simple as that. And if you wanted to create templates with multiple text uh, layers, you can do that as well. So let's say you have multiple lines, you can create multiple lines in After Effects and do the exact same thing I did, just have two source text layers here, okay? So if you don't feel like doing this or you're having issues with it, I do have this typewriter template available in my store, premiergal.com slash store. I'll include a link to it in the description box below. Oh, hello again. So, yes, I hope that you guys found this useful and uh, Gal told me to, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and please do subscribe and hit that notification button so you get new updates when she posts her tutorials. She's really doing a great job, you guys, and she would really appreciate it if you just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, so yeah, if you guys uh, have any requests or anything, be sure to go to her website, which I think is premiergal.com, and leave a request there. So yeah. Cheers! And sorry, my hands. Have a cup of tea and enjoy your day. So, I've heard that you guys quite like my granddaughter, Premier Gal. And you may have guessed, just by resemblance, that I'm her grandmother. And she informed me that she not. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have this terrible cough. <laughs>